to understand the importance of dogs in our society and in the world. I like a quote from Gandhi. He says, the greatness of a nation and the moral of its values can be measured by the way we treat our animals. When I did the puppy meal episode, I was aware of the existence. I was not aware of the feeling. So as I enter into people's home, I feel the energy. Uh, that exist uh, in, in your homes. But when I enter into a puppy meal's place, I couldn't, I could not stop myself from feeling a horrible When it comes to operational issues, I'm, we're not allowed to discuss any of that. But Sergeant Joyce can discuss the 13th soldier, a dog he found in Iraq. He was known throughout our unit as a member of our team. He protected our team more so than any other Americans. Go, go. He, he would get pretty aggressive, so the team named him Terror Kaziz. Everybody liked to call him Terror, so I was joking around. And I said, you know what, I'm going to rename him Fluffy. And when I said Fluffy, Fluffy turned and looked dead at me. Give me Paul. Good boy. Fluffy was a huge deter on our base camp. Our own guards were terrified of him. There were times that he did smell things that uh, were harmful to us as soldiers. He was totally constantly going to where this act of aggression was. I think he saved our lives every day he was out there pulling guard for us. 
here was my comrade, our 13th warrior, you know, Fluffy. Been wondering who will be there to take my place when I'm gone. You'll need love to light the shadows on your face. If a great wish I fall, I'll fall upon us all. Down between the sand and stone, could you make it on your own? If I of your day If a great wave shall fall and fall upon us all Well then I hope there's someone out there who can bring me back to you If I could then I would I'll go wherever you go We're Sebastian the dog. Representative Michael Grimm adopted Sebastian after the puppy's rescue. By example, animal welfare issues are near and dear to my heart. So would, uh, adopting just is, that's something that just came natural. Ready for the hill. Sebastian, now charming all the staff, came from rough beginnings. Sebastian is a beautiful little puppy, but that's because he's survived being exposed to parvo. He's survived lice and other parasites, and he's been given good care to get over those problems. Grimm says this adoption should send a message. The goal here is to really spread the word that look at how magnificent this puppy is. And I adopted him. So you don't need to go and uh, go online and spend all that money where they don't take care of their puppies and they're breeding them in puppy mills. Uh, you, can, you can adopt and that's what we're going to do. We're going to raise the awareness and, uh, and also have a lot of fun along the way. We're going to treasure them. Stay with you for all time if I could. Uh, Congressman Grimm. The gentleman from New York is recognized. Good afternoon, Madam Chair, and thank you, Chairman Miller. 
I rise today in strong support of H.R. 2074, which includes the text of H.R. 198, the Veterans Dog Training Therapy Act. That's a bill that I introduced along with our lead co-sponsor, House Veterans Affairs Health Subcommittee Ranking Member Michaud. Special thank you to the ranking member. As a Marine combat veteran, it's a unique honor for me to see this bill considered today by the full House. Over the past nine months, I've had the honor to meet with our nation's veterans who are now faced with the challenges of coping with PTSD and physical disabilities resulting from their service in Iraq and Afghanistan. Their stories are not for the weak of heart, and they're truly moving. With these personal accounts of their recovery, both physical and mental, and the important role therapy and service dogs played that inspired this legislation. The Veterans Dog Training Therapy Act would require the Department of Veterans Affairs to conduct a pilot program in VA medical centers assessing the effectiveness of addressing post-development mental health and PTSD through the therapeutic median of training service dogs for, red, for veterans with disabilities. These trained service dogs are then given to physically disabled veterans to help them with their daily activities. Simply put, this program treats veterans suffering from PTSD while at the same time aiding those suffering from physical disabilities. Since it was introduced, this legislation has gained the bipartisan support of 96 co-sponsors. With veteran suicide rates at all-time highs and more and more servicemen and women being diagnosed with PTSD, this bill meets a crucial need for additional treatment methods. I believe that by caring for our nation's veterans while at the same time providing assistance dogs to those with physical disabilities, we create a win-win scenario for everyone. This is a goal we can all be proud to accomplish. And just as an added bonus, we provide these wonderful animals with a loving and safe environment. And that's why I strongly urge all of my colleagues to join in me in support of H.R. 2074, and I yield back the balance of my time. Reserve. And love might still go on In your heart, in your mind I'll stay with you for all time If I could, then I would I'll go wherever you will go We'll fight on down the I'll go Light the shadows on your face 